Welcome to the Long Box Paradox, episode 21.5, going over the new releases for May 8th. Um, kind of a middling week this week of what's coming out. Not, not especially heavy, but some pretty good books coming out. So, going to start right away with Image Comics. Uh, we have the first trade of Blackbird by Jen Bartell. Um, if you're a fan of Wicked and Divine, this might be a book that you will like. Um, Jen Bartel's art is a little bit close to McKelvey, at least the way she draws her characters. And kind of the, the magical storyline, I think, if you're a Wicked and Divine fan, will bring you in on this. Um, Bartel's art is awesome. Uh, I really dig her art. Um, it's a $16.99 trade, uh, a little bit more expensive than some of the old image trades used to be for the first volumes, but definitely worth checking out. Uh, I've liked it so far. Uh, also coming out this week, Deadly Class. Uh, Maria and uh, Marcus are heading back to King's Dominion. Uh, there's a John McRae B variant. I kind of like the A variant by Craig a little bit better. Really excited for it. Love this book. Uh, and if you have liked the show, you will probably dig this book as well if you're caught up. Uh, Hit Girl Season 2, number 4, comes out, written by Kevin Smith. Uh, I have not really dug it, but uh, there's a Frank Avia cover, so I will be picking it up. Uh, Ice Cream Man, number 12, comes out this week as well. Love this book. I love that it is a weird horror book that's somewhat anthology with all these little different stories going on, but with the Ice Cream Man being the constant throughout. Tula Lote does the B variant, and that is the one I'll be picking up because I love her art. Uh, Unnatural comes out, number nine. Uh, I'm kind of all over the place with this book. Uh, it's interesting, but at the same time, it's a very forgettable book. I, I don't know why Like I'll finish reading it, and I almost immediately forget what happened. Uh, Andalfo's art, though, is pretty great in it. I will give it that. Uh, moving on to Dark Horse, uh, Aliens Resistance number four comes out, uh, carrying on the arc that's been going on for almost two years now. Um, Amanda Ripley is one of the main protagonists who is uh, Ripley's daughter from the original Aliens. Uh, we also have one of my favorite books, Black Hammer, Age of Doom number 10, following up uh, Great World Building by Lemire. If you haven't been picking up Black Hammer in general, I suggest picking those up first and then coming back to this. Just fantastic. It's probably one of my favorite Lemire books, and that's saying a lot. Uh, also out is She Could Fly, Lost Pilot, number two. This book is bananas. Like, uh, a mentally troubled child, um, somewhat of a superhero subplot. There's espionage. There's a little bit of everything. Uh, this is a hard book to pick up just flat off the shelf if you haven't been reading it. Uh, it is interesting though, I will give it that. Uh, not a lot from IDW. Uh, Samurai Jack might be the one that m most people will pick up. Uh, DC Comics this week, Batman the Outsiders. I like Brian Hill's art, uh, art writing. Uh, Dexter Soy is the artist. I not big on a lot of the covers. I'm going to go with the A cover. There's a C, Step in Sedgwick. Uh, I'm, it doesn't look the best of Sedgwick's work. It's kind of a little bit outside of his box, so that's actually kind of one of the more interesting parts. Batman Who Laughs number 5 is out, and boy, it feels like this series is never going to end. Um, I know that sounds horrible, but it's just I feel like it's been going on forever, this epic of the Batman Who Laughs. Uh, I'm going to go with the A cover. The C, I'm not C, the B is interesting, but I, I'm not too in love with it. Uh, Catwoman, it's number 11's out. Uh, the Art Germ variant will always be the one I pick up. That That's probably not going to change. Uh, Detective 103 is out this week. It uh, has a Mark Brooks connecting cover, which will be the B variant, which is what I'll be picking up. Uh, Flash, I love Josh Williamson's writing. Uh, I believe Howard Porter is still the artist on this currently. Uh, this is the Flash Year One storyline. Um, digging the story. Um, 
digging the writing. I, I support Josh Williamson, and I'm looking forward to his Superman, Batman, or Batman, Superman, whatever order they're putting in, book he will be doing with David Marquez. I'm very, very into that. Uh, Justice League Odyssey, I don't normally pick it up, but there is a Perillo cover. Um, I love Perillo's art. So it will be very big on my list. Uh, Pearl Volume 1 comes out. I pro This is one of my favorite of the Brian Bendis books since he's come to DC. Uh, it, there's just something about it I, I really dig. Uh, the protagonist is interesting. There's a Yakuza storyline going on in it. Uh, I totally really like it. Uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 34, comes out. Not going to lie, I don't like this book. It's it's bad, but uh, the Yasmin Putri variant is actually really good. Uh, there's an Amanda Connor Supergirl 30 variant. Um, Supergirl's been all over the place. It's this Rogel Zor thing with the super characters. It's still going through that where she has his axe. Uh, I'm hoping it leads to somewhere. I know there's some big event going on in the Superman book where it's going to be taking on Rogel Zor and all his uh, outcasts. Uh, Wonder Woman 70, Jenny Friesen variant. There's nothing more to say than that. Uh, just a fantastic cover. Marvel uh, Age of Conan Bellet or Bellet. Number three, Sonic Decada cover. Enough said. That's the only reason I'm picking it up. Uh, also, Captain America number 10, Captain America run has been very good, fantastic Alex Ross cover, uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates writing it has been very, very good, Conan the Barbarian number 6, I'm digging the Conan books, uh, oh yeah, also Captain Marvel 5 comes out this week, uh, the most interesting thing about that is there is a Max Lim Battle Lines variant, which has, uh, Nick Fury on it. Uh, those battle line variants are actually kind of cool. Um, Invaders number five, loving this book. Uh, they've actually been really deep diving into Namor. Uh, Chip Zdarsky again with another book that it's been solid. It's been damn solid. Really enjoying that one, which I honestly never thought I would. And, um, Star Wars Age of Re was it Age of Rebellion Boba Fett number one. There is the concept variant of what Boba Fett originally was supposed to look like as the B variant. I'm probably gonna pick that up just because I have a feeling that might have some legs on the aftermarket. Uh, Doctor Afra number thirty two, still interesting character. Ashley Witter covers, digging it. Um, Symbiote Spider-Man number two, there's a uh, jong Ju Kim Battle Lines variant. Uh, there's also a Ron Lim variant. I, I didn't love Symbiote Spider-Man number one. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number 44, I don't love Squirrel Girl. It's just not me, not for me. Uh, the Battle Lines variant by Sujin Jo, though, is phenomenal and probably going to be a pickup for me. And then pretty much the rest of what's coming out from Marvel is like Unstoppable Wasp. And more War of the Realms. Although there is one. War of the Realms New Agents of Atlas number one is going to be a spec hold. Two new characters. Um, Arrow, and I forget which the other one's name is. But they're really pushing it in the uh, previews. So it might be one to pick up and hold just because. And the B variant is probably, in my opinion, the one to get because it shows the team and all of the characters. So it'll be the actual first cover with those characters on it. And then X-Force number seven comes out. X-Force is what it is. It's eh. I have not been kind of feeling the whole X-Universe for quite a while. Um, for Dynamite Comics, Hexlash versus Chaos number five. I am picking up the C cover by Sailor, C-E-L-O-R, with Cassie Hack on it wearing Evil Ernie's jacket. Uh, not for any reason, it just actually looked like one of the cooler ones to get. Um, 
Yeah, other than that, ton of Red Sonia stuff, uh, Betty and Veronica, blah, blah, blah. Um, not a whole lot out from Boom. Um, yeah, nothing nothing really worth picking up. Uh, some decent DC uh, collectibles for all focused on the animated series. It's uh, the Grey Ghost, the Batman animated, Hardak Batman, Scarecrow, and Two-Face. And honestly, uh, independent-wise, I didn't see anything that really caught my eye. Um, definitely, I think the new Agents of Atlas, though, is the one you might want to pick up at least two to three, just in case. Like, I, I know, like, the, the whole speculation thing, but I also feel like people are under-ordering War of the Realm, so if you can get your hands on it. Um, I didn't see if there are any actual... Uh, ratio variants for it because they don't tell you on the diamond list uh so i'm kind of playing the guessing game on here but if you do see a ratio variant again i don't feel like these war of the realms are ordered super super high uh as for other stuff i mean it's just basically the cover game for me lately um batman detective 103 you might get a glimpse possibly of arkham knight I, I believe what I read in the solicits, though, 1004 is where you get the full reveal of who it is. So um, keep that in mind, but maybe pick up an extra copy, or if you don't pick up one, th one bad, bad detective at all, pick up at least one of them to hold. Just it, it could be big. I mean, people thought when Red Hood got introduced that that wasn't... Uh, I made out pretty well. It took 10 years to get the Red Hood books to do something. It was a long-term hold. Luckily, the story was good, and I held on to him. Um, that's really all I got for this week of what I'm picking up and what's kind of catching my eye. Um, again, thank you for joining me, taking the time and watching. Uh, these little .5 episodes are just a little heads up for people who are interested in what I'm picking up or what I think might be big. Anyway, uh, have a good weekend or rest of your weekend. Enjoy Game of Thrones tonight, and happy hunting on Wednesday. See ya.